This is the Business Today. I'm Marlon Madden. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair is singing the praises of the local credit union movement. He says it remains one of the fastest growing segments of the financial services sector with an annual growth rate of about 4.4% in assets. Sinclair is also pleased that credit unions have been working with the small business sector and sponsoring a number of developmental and governmental initiatives. He made the comments as he officially opened the third branch of the Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union in Oystins on Sunday. It's shaping up to be a bumper cruise winter tourist season for Barbados. Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, BHTA, Sue Springer, says officials are expecting a 6% increase in cruise passengers for the coming season. We should manage to top over 800,000 visitors. This is driven by the rise of UK numbers, bigger ships calling more often, and ships ex-New York getting to Barbados faster. The lower global fuel prices will also assist the reach for the cruise lines. There will be many multi-ship days uh, for the 2015-16 season, and I hope that that bodes well for all of our attractions. Springer was addressing the recent BHDA third quarterly general meeting at the Hilton Resort. She says this port expansion, which is scheduled to be completed early next month, will allow larger ships to berth. Those being the P&O Britannia out of the UK and the new Mine Shift 3 from Germany and Fred Olsen from the UK. Some of these ships will be carrying 4,000 visitors. And you know that is usually matched by nearly the same number of crews. That is an incredible number of people visiting our shores. The Britannia and the Mine Shift will turn around on the same day Every Friday, hence the uh, issue of the airport, utilizing nine charter flights um, to do so. The air sea home porting, overall, we continue to grow, and again, about uh, an additional 10% for 2015-16 is projected over what was for 2014-15. The P&O cruise line will increase volumes into Barbados by themselves by 10%. The new ship, Adonia, will home port on the same day as Azura every other Friday. Many of the upmarket ships are doing pre and post stays in Barbados, and this means that the high-end hotels have now got into the business of cruise and stay. We actually now have 13 ships home porting into Barbados, which also means there are major links to manufacturing and agriculture. And this is very, very good when we look at linkages to tourism. A call for local hoteliers to extend a helping hand to help rebuild the tourism sector in the Caribbean's Nature Isle of Dominica. President of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, BHTA, Sue Springer, says a special effort is on to assist those affected by the devastation in that country. She explains that local hoteliers are able to help via a special online auction of hotel room nights. The first Vice President of CHTA, Carolyn Trubetskoy, put together an initiative to help Dominica. I think you would have seen that circulated, but just highlighting it again, because I know there's a lot of information that comes through on your um, email. You can donate a three to seven night package to be auctioned off via Charity Buzz, an online auction provider. The, pro the proceeds of the auction will go to a special account created by the Dominican Hotel and Tourism Association, and the distribution of the funds will be decided by a joint committee of the association, Hotel Association and CHTA. And they are asking you to actually um, donate by September, the 20th, by September the 18th. Terrible pictures, terrible destruction, there but by the grace of God. So we may really, need, really need to support our brothers and sisters as they fight to get back on their feet. Harris is not on board with calls for his government to invest in layout. In fact, he suggests such an investment would not make good financial sense at this time. Harris argues that the consistent financial problems of the airline, which is owned by the governments of Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, and Dominica, make it an unattractive investment option. Now for today's financial tip. Instead of saying no to everything your children want to buy, be sure to involve them in grocery shopping. This is a good way for them to learn how much money is required for various everyday items so they can understand how to spend wisely. That's been the business today. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.pb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.